Hello there, savvy travelers and security enthusiasts. Welcome to our channel, your one-stop destination for all things travel. Today, we delve into the fascinating world of airport security, busting common misconceptions and shedding light on actual procedures. Our goal is to equip you with the knowledge to navigate airports with ease and confidence. So buckle up as we embark on this enlightening journey. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button and join us for a journey into the world of travel you won't regret it. Today we delve into the intriguing world of airport security. This topic, often seen as a mere inconvenience by many, is in fact a critical cog in the complex machine that is air travel. Let's explore why that is. Airport security is a vital part of ensuring passenger safety. It's not just about checking your bags for prohibited items, it's about creating a safe environment for all. From the moment you step into the airport, to the time you disembark at your destination, airport security is working tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure your safety. These security measures are not designed to be an obstacle, but rather a shield protecting millions of travelers who take to the skies every day. They are the first line of defense against potential threats, ensuring that your journey is as safe as it can possibly be. Yet, it's not just about safety. A smooth security process can also enhance your travel experience. By understanding and complying with the procedures, you can breeze through security checks and avoid unnecessary delays, making your journey smoother and more enjoyable. So next time you're at an airport, remember that each security measure is there for a reason. They are designed to keep you and countless other passengers safe and secure as you journey across the globe. Remember, understanding these procedures isn't just about being a well-informed traveler, but also about making your journey smoother and safer. Now let's debunk some common myths about airport security. One widespread misconception is that all liquids are banned from carry-on luggage. However, the truth is a bit more nuanced. Yes, there are restrictions, but it's not a blanket ban. In reality, you can carry liquids, aerosols, gels, creams, and pastes in your carry-on, as long as they're in containers of 100 milliliters or less, and all your containers fit into a single quart-size zip-top bag. Another popular myth is that security checks are an unnecessary hassle, designed only to frustrate passengers. However, this couldn't be farther from the truth. Security checks are vital in maintaining safe and secure air travel. They help detect threats and prevent harmful incidents. Each procedure from the full-body scanners to the luggage checks has a specific purpose in ensuring passenger safety. Some people also assume that the shoes-off policy is pointless and only applies to certain individuals. However, this requirement stems from a legitimate security concern. The policy was implemented after an attempted terrorist attack in 2001, where explosives were hidden in shoes. Today, removing shoes during security checks allows officers to thoroughly inspect footwear for concealed items. Another misconception is that all metal items will set off the detectors. While large metal objects like jewelry or belts may trigger alarms, smaller items like coins or keys usually don't. It's always best to place all your metal belongings in the provided bins to prevent any unnecessary delays. Finally, there's a common belief that airport security is all about reacting to threats rather than preventing them. However, proactive measures are a significant part of airport security operations. Techniques such as behavior detection and passenger analysis are employed to identify potential risks before they become threats. As we can see, not everything we hear about airport security is accurate it's crucial to know the facts. So, what does the actual airport security process look like? Well, let's walk you through it. The first step begins before you even arrive at the airport. Yes, you heard that right. It all starts with packing your luggage correctly. Avoid any prohibited items like sharp objects, explosives, or flammable substances. If you're unsure about any item, it's always a good idea to check the airport's or airline's official website for a list of prohibited items. Upon arriving at the airport, your first encounter with security is at the entrance itself. Here, your booking details and identification are checked. Make sure you have your passport, tickets or any other required identification documents handy. Once you're through the entrance, the next step is check-in. Depending on your airline and ticket type, you can either check in online at a kiosk or at the airline's desk. After checking in, you'll receive your boarding pass. Keep it safe, as you'll need it throughout your journey. Next comes the part most people dread, the security checkpoint. But worry not, it's not as daunting as it seems. At the security checkpoint, you'll first have to place your carry-on luggage on a conveyor belt for x-ray screening. This is where your earlier packing diligence pays off. If you've packed correctly, this should be a breeze. 
Then, you'll proceed to the body scan. You might have to remove your shoes, belt, and any metallic items on your person. Don't worry, it's all standard procedure. The body scan is done using a millimeter wave scanner or a metal detector, depending on the airport. The scanner is just there to detect any hidden items that could pose a security threat. Once you're done with the body scan, don't forget to collect all your items from the conveyor belt. Check to make sure you haven't left anything behind. Next, you might go through a random additional screening. Don't be alarmed if you're selected. It's just a random process and doesn't imply that you are under suspicion. The additional screening could involve a pat-down, a swab test, or a detailed check of your belongings. After clearing security, you can relax a bit. Now it's time to find your gate. The gate number is usually printed on your boarding pass. If not, check the airport monitors or ask airport staff for help. Once you reach your gate, wait for your boarding group to be called. Boarding usually starts about 30 minutes before departure, but it can vary. When your group is called, show your boarding pass and identification one last time and you're good to go. Finally, you'll board the plane. Depending on the airport and the size of the aircraft, you might walk or take a bus to the plane, or you might board via a jet bridge. Once on board, find your seat, stow your carry-on luggage safely, and settle in for your journey. And there you go. That's your journey through airport security. It might seem daunting, but remember, it's all designed to keep you safe. All right, let's do a quick recap of what we've learned today. We kick things off by emphasizing the critical role of airport security in ensuring our safety during travels. It's not just about preventing dangerous items from getting on the plane, but also about maintaining order and confidence in our global travel system. We then delved into some of the common misconceptions about airport security. Contrary to popular belief, it's not all about power trips or invading your privacy. Instead, these procedures are in place for a reason, and each step is crucial for maintaining a secure environment. Our journey led us through the step-by-step -step procedures at the airport. From the moment you step into the terminal until you board the plane, we learned about the purpose of each procedure, from the initial document check to the final carry-on scan. The process might seem tedious but every step is part of a well-oiled machine designed to keep us safe while we're miles above the ground. So, remember next time you're at the airport, each procedure you go through isn't just a series of hoops to jump through. It's a meticulously crafted process with your safety as the top priority. Understanding these procedures can make your travel experience smoother and less stressful. With these insights, you're now better equipped to navigate airport security during your travels. And that brings us to the end of our journey through airport security. A big thank you for joining us and investing your time to learn more about the intricacies of airport safety. We hope these insights will assist you in your future travels, making the process smoother and less daunting. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and join us again for more insights into the world of travel. Until then, safe travels everyone!